Union representatives from across PNG came together today for PEA's first executive talks since its new board was formed in January. The meeting signals a fresh start for the union, who has been without official leadership since President Michael Malabag resigned in 2012 to contest the national elections. Acting President Anna Igor headed the union in the interim until elections were held late last year and Emma Faitelli was sworn in as president. PEA is the biggest union in PNG, representing almost 10,000 public service employees from both the national and provincial governments. Emma Faitali says she will draw on her extensive experience with the Department of Personal Management to develop new strategies to improve the working conditions of public servants in Papua New Guinea. She claims there are inadequacies in the public service with low-ranking employees having limited access to basic entitlements such as welfare and insurance. Kim, there was an insurance cover but it went kaput somewhere along the line. So those are the um, projects I'm concentrating on. The um, welfare fund for employees who are members of the public service and also the insurance. Vitelli is one of two female members of the executive board and claims the union will greatly benefit from its new female leadership. I feel it's a men's world and um, with what I bring in into the organization, it's patience. Everyone believes that, think that um, union is all related to going on strike and I don't want to be that mentioned when I'm here as the president. I want us to go through the um, normal of channel of communication, channel of um, negotiations for us to reach our um, amicable resolution for our employees. PEA members stress that the union strives to act as an advocate rather than an activist for public sector employees in Papua New Guinea.